This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. Now, I got a quick message the other day. No, the other day, it was early this morning. Say, look, Uncle Momo, why haven't you not reacted to um, Damage Cenopathy? Um, I was like, what? Is, when did it come out? It wasn't even on, it wasn't in, I didn't get a notification. That's what I'm trying to say. I did not get a notification. Sorry about that. Um, so this is a song called Alone and is um, a cover by, um, it's cover of the group Heart. Um, that's all I have to tell you. I'm so sorry about that. Um, it always, he's got his links, which I will leave the links out to yourself. Um, as you know, it's written by Billy Steinberg and Tom Kelly, but that's all I have. I apologies. I apologize for all that. But look, we all here for an amazing reason. This guy can sing. And I'm talking about not your normal average singer that does your pop or your R&B. No, we're talking about some serious rock vocals that if anybody listens to him for the first time, you're going to be dumbfounded. Your mouth will continually be like that. Until he finishes. Because that's exactly how I was. And then you get the momentum of wanting to find out more about him. And then you become an amazing fan. And then you start having conversations with likewise fans. Because they're all great. <laughs> I can't wait to press the play button. So, without further ado. You know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? How do you pronounce this name? Is it um, Agen? I hear the ticking of the clock. I'm lying here, the room spit star. He always starts that lovely. Mm. I wonder where you are tonight. No answer lovely on the telephone. She rips it apart. And the night goes by so very slow. Oh, I hope that it won't end though. I do like his vocals with like this. Alone. But he's renowned for. Wait for it. This song is a classic song, man. How do I get you alone? He should be right up there with his vocals, man. Seriously. You don't know how long I have wanted to touch your lips and hold you tight. I mean, with Americans, grab him and not let him go. No, you don't know how long I have waited and I was going to tell you tonight, yeah. Secret, still my own. I know he's big. I want him to be bigger. And my love for you, still and old. And I know Americans don't get alone. But not the public Americans, the rock stars Americans. Don't. I wonder what he register on the decibels. <laughs> so that's Jaffa. The sl um, slave hat. Come on. 
So that was Dimesh Sinapathy with song cover Alone, uh, the band Hearts, um, Billy um, Steinberg, and is it Tom Kelly or Kelly? I can't remember. Um, amazing song. It's a classic rock song. Everybody who's everybody knows this song. What I'm talking about is his. Um, I, I don't know what you want to call it. His public awareness, how much people know about him. Now, I know that the celebrities know in America know him, but, you know, the, the fans of those celebrities, do they know him? I mean, I feel that if you live in another country and America's or the Western world grabs you, the first thing that you're going to do, is you're going to move over there and just pursue your career. And it's happened to you a number of people. As soon as they grab you, they take you, and then you have that wonderful life over there in America. Then you come back, back and forth, and blah, blah, blah. But it's just a case of being recognised. They Once you're recognised, they want you. They take you and they have you. They take you away, and you don't see them again. Surely he's had that opportunity over in the States. You can't deny his vocals. Yes, there is other artists over there in the States that sound like him, but he's uniqueness. He really is. And I thought that Americans will lap onto those things because they love the uniqueness. They really do. So what's going on? Yes, he's got 1.53 million um, subscribers. Yes, it, it, that does market success. But when you think about it and his vocals, he should have a, uh, sorry, but he should have a bigger success than what I'm even thinking about. Yeah. And maybe it's because I'm without knowledge that maybe, you know, maybe he's really, 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 really successful. I don't know. But I think so. No, no, no. I'll take that back. Because if he was really, really successful, this song right here is only gathered at 182. Now, I know that in different other countries that that number will be hit in seconds. So what's the measurement of success here? Are we measuring? I don't know. Look, just fill me in. How big is he actually? How big is he actually? Because I know he has sung with some really um, A-list celebrities in the um, the rock element terms. And he's matched and matched, matched by matched, if that makes sense. There's, he's been on par with them um, when it comes to their performance and all that stuff. Um, but does it die down once he goes back home? You know, where does the momentum come from? Is he going to continue doing song covers instead of his own songs, original, um, you know, some original songs for us to grab onto and become that bigger fan than what we already are? Let me know. I need information. Until next time. I salute you. Boom. Ticking off the clock